A sensitive topic now, vasectomies and vasectomy reversal. Decide what's right for you, your husband, or your relationship. And here to help us understand the options is Dr. Paul Turek. Again, welcome back. Hi, Good to see you again. It's interesting, I always come back after wine, cheese, and sex. And That's true, the last that time way. you were. That's right. Well, sometimes they all kind of... Um, Fold in together. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> why, why is this still such a touchy topic after all these years that vasectomies have been in, uh, available? Well, because it does change a man in a small way. It's part of the body that's real sensitive, and, and they'd rather not have surgery there if they can avoid it or procedures, and I think that's the basis for it. Right. Is there something important for women to, to know if the, the men in their lives are considering vasectomy? What, what should they do or know to be supportive? I think just being sensitive to the issue, and they may not want things done there. They'd rather have it done on their hand than on that part of their body. Exactly. And that's yeah. in supportive, I think, is the big word. So I, I think a lot of males prefer not to get a vasectomy because it's so sensitive and, you know, nobody wants something going on down there. But how, you know, might be the best option, right? So what can it's, women say to encourage the man to choose that option? Do this for me, honey. Oh, yeah. I just say do this for me, honey? Do this for me, honey. Yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, doing it for themselves, men aren't very good about that.